Once upon a time. Welcome, you two travelers. So last night I went to bed at 1 a.m. like usual, and I was just settling to sleep when the fire alarm went off. Now this fire alarm in dorms is not something you can just ignore and fall back to sleep. No, you can hear it growing ever closer, coming down the hallway towards your room. And when it reaches you, it fills your entire being with this high-pitched, horribly annoying screeching. So after I had sat outside in the cold for about 15 minutes until the fire department came, I finally got back to my room and started thinking about sleep. But not about actually going to sleep in that instant, but about why some of us get five or six hours of sleep instead of the eight or ten that we know we should be getting. If you only get about five or six hours of sleep a night, then in a week's time you've missed out on 23 hours of sleep that you should be getting. That's a lot. But this doesn't make sense. Generally speaking, people don't seem to hate sleep. Far to the contrary, they t constantly complain about it when they don't get enough sleep. And yet, many people are habitually sleep deprived. I have a theory. We take sleep for granted. We see so many other things in our life that we want to get done, things that we are so busy with that we don't prioritize sleeping. We miss it when we don't have it, but we're unlikely to change our ways because we're busy with so many other things. Yet, if you don't get enough sleep, your mornings might look something like this. Optimistic WebMD, sleep deprivation can lead to decreased performance and alertness, poor quality of life because you may not be able to attend events that require sustained attention, memory impairment, hey mom, yeah, have you seen my phone, a higher risk of occupational injury, and also an increased chance of automobile injury from drowsing driving. Yet even after hearing all these warnings, I may or may not change my sleeping habits. Because when it comes down to it at 1am, watching videos about babies laughing is far more important than sleep. But even though work and school get in the way of me going to bed at the same time every night, I think I will set up a bedtime routine for myself. This just means that you have a structured set of things to get done before going to sleep. Hopefully this will add some consistency to my sleep schedule. Now the most important part! Do you get enough sleep? If so, share your secrets! And if you don't, first of all, welcome to the club. What are some of your goals for time to sleep more? Thanks for watching! Subscribe! And don't forget to keep on imagining!